PayPal, is this a stock you should buy right now? That's what we're going to try to answer here in this analysis video. I like to simplify things, and I'm going to discuss six metrics in this analysis. Earnings growth, PE ratio, dividends, return on equity, free cash flow, and intrinsic value. They're then put on a 0 to 99 grade scale, so it's easier to visualize the different numbers I'm going to throw at you in this video. The first five metrics mostly deal with how good of a business we have. No point investing if it's an undervalued piece of crap. That's why I save intrinsic value near the end. Earnings growth is by far the most important metric. A company that doesn't grow doesn't survive for long. PayPal has amazing growth at 15.95% per year going forward. To continually grow this well is a testament to the company's long-term plans. For PE ratio, most people look at it as a valuation metric. I don't base my intrinsic value on the PE ratio. The PE ratio to me is a measurement of hype. Too high and there's just too many eager eyes on the stock. Too low and we might have a hidden gem. PayPal has a nice PE ratio at 16.61. For a fintech company, this is surprising. There's not as much hype as there is. Dividends should be an obvious metric and something a lot of people ignore. I'm going to put it out there. If you buy a stock that doesn't pay you anything, you're speculating, you're not investing. PayPal doesn't pay out a dividend. Unfortunately, the higher the growth, the less they pay out. In this case, it's nothing. For return on equity, it tells me a lot about the management. It shows me how efficiently my investment dollars will be treated if I were to buy the stock. PayPal has great management with an ROE of 20.4%. With the combination of growth and efficiency, you can see the future is bright here. Free cash flow is my way to quickly evaluate how dominant of a company we're dealing with. The more cash available, the better opportunities to buy up other companies, the better to research, and more money for marketing. PayPal has so-so cash flow to the tune of $5.1 billion. When it comes to building that economic moat, they don't have enough cash to do it. Okay, as I said, these five metrics we just went over tell me what kind of business we're dealing with. With a business grade of 62, we're dealing with an above average business. There are signs of a typical tech company, but I like that it's not too speculative right now. But before we get our intrinsic value, consider joining my Patreon and get access to every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. As I said, we know what kind of business we have, but let's see what the price tells us in terms of attractiveness. Nonetheless, PayPal is worth $123 per share. Right now, we're looking at a bargain for a stock. Again, it's not every day you can see fintech companies come at you at this price. And now that we've got all the numbers down, we put it all together and get our final grade. PayPal has a final grade of 67, and that means it has an above average long-term investment. For me, I like the growth and I like the price, but something that doesn't pay you and can stretch the economic moat is a not so good sign. But hey, after this video comes out, anything can happen in the next few days, weeks, months, even years. But long-term is always longer than you expect. Keep this in mind, it took Warren Buffett 45 years to become a billionaire. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.